Numerical calculations. Numerical work in engineering practice is most often performed by using handheld calculators and computers. It is important, however, that the answers to any problem be reported with both justifiable accuracy and appropriate significant figures. In this section, we will discuss these topics together with some of the other important aspects involved in all engineering calculations. Dimensional homogeneity. The terms of any equation used to describe a physical process must be dimensionally homogeneous, that is, each term must be expressed in the same units. Provided this is the case, all the terms of an equation can then be combined if numerical values are substituted for the variables. Consider, for example, the equation s equals vt plus half at squared, where in SI units, s is the position in meters, t is time in seconds, V is velocity in meters per second, and A is acceleration in meters per second squared. Regardless of how this equation is evaluated, it maintains its dimensional homogeneity. In the form stated, each of the three terms is expressed in meters. Since S is in meters, V is in meters per second, T is in seconds, so you can cancel out the seconds. A is in meters per second squared, and T is in seconds squared, you can cancel out the seconds squared. Therefore, you can see meters, meters, and meters. It maintains its dimensional homogeneity. Or, solving for A, A is equal to 2 times S over T squared minus 2 times V over T. The terms are each expressed in units of meters per second squared. Meters per second squared since 2 meters per second squared minus 2 meters per second over second squared, this will give you meters per second squared. Since problems in mechanics involve the solution of dimensionally homogeneous equations, the fact that all terms of an equation are represented by a consistent set of units can be used as a partial check for algebraic manipulations of an equation. Next, we'll discuss significant figures. The accuracy of a number is specified by the number of significant figures it contains. A significant figure is any digit, including a zero, provided it is not used to specify the location of the decimal point for the number. For example, the number is 5,604, 5,604, and 34.52, 34.52, each have four significant figures. When numbers begin or end with zeros, however, it is difficult to tell how many significant figures are in the number. Consider the number 400. Does it have one, four, two, 40, or three, 400 significant figures? In order to clarify this situation, the exponent is displayed in multiples of 3 in order to facilitate conversion of SI units of those having an appropriate prefix. Thus, 400 expressed to one significant figure would be one significant figure 0 0.4 times 10 to the power 3. Likewise, 2,500 and 0 0.00456 expressed to three significant figures would be 2.50 times 10 to the power 3 and 5.46 times 10 to the power negative 3. Rounding off numbers. For numerical calculations, the accuracy obtained from the solution of a problem generally can never be better than the accuracy of the problem data. Keep this in mind. This is what is to be expected, but often handheld calculators or computers involve more figures in the answer than the number of significant figures used for the data. For this reason, a calculated result should always be rounded off to an appropriate number of significant figures. To convey appropriate accuracy, the following rules for rounding off a number to n significant figures apply. If the n plus 1 digit is less than 5, then the n plus 1 digit and others following it are dropped. For example, 2.326 and 0.451 rounded off to n equals 2 significant figures would give you 2.3 since 2 is less than 5 and 2 
and all the numbers following it are dropped, which would give you 2.3. 0 0.451 would give you 0 0.45, which is two significant figures. If the n plus one digit is equal to five with zeros following it, then round off the nth digit to an even number. For example, 1.245 times 10 to the power of three and 0 0.8655 both rounded off to n equals three significant figures would give you 1.24 times 10 to the power of three and 0 0.866. If the n plus one digit is greater than five or equal to five with any non-zero digits following it, increase the nth digit by one and drop the n plus one digit and others following it. For example, 0 0.72387 and 565.500 three, both rounded off to n equals three significant figures would be 0 0.724, since eight is more than five, so you round it off by adding one to three, and five, six, six, since five is equal to five, and you add one to five. Calculations. As a general rule, to ensure accuracy of a final result when performing calculations in a pocket calculator, always retain a greater number of digits than the problem data. If possible, try to work out the computations so that numbers which are approximately equal are not subtracted since accuracy is often lost from this calculation. In engineering, we generally round off final answers to three significant figures, since the data for geometry, loads, and other measurements are often reported with this accuracy. Of course, some numbers such as pi, e, or numbers used in derived formulas are exact and are therefore accurate to an infinite number of significant figures.